Hej, cześć, witajcie moi drodzy w kolejnym materiale, zagrajmy w The Last... Ach, jak zwykle, kurczę, no w The Wolf Among Us. Aj, moi drodzy, jak ja się zawsze mylam, przy każdym odcinku, przy każdym materiale, przy każdym odcinku z tej gry, z tejże gry. Yy... Cóż, moi drodzy, yy, powiem... Rozpocznijmy epizod czwarty, tylko tyle mogę powiedzieć wam. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? But, you know... Just... take him, okay? Take Crane. Well, this is a, a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. Dobra, 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 dobra. Tu były wspominki. Z epizodu trzeciego. Widzę, znowu jesteśmy w domku. W swoim domku. A gdzie jest ten... Colin? Hollow Point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. O kurde, nieciekawie powiem. We can't get me in this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. What? What happened to me? There was. You got lucky and found yourself in the care of a most skillful surgeon, me. Please, Bigby, don't move it, doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment, but if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Oh yeah, no, 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 this way I won't have to reset it later. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. This... is the job. Quiet. Just relax. Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work, so... Nick, stick around, all right? I don't know if I trust this guy. Oh, please, I could do this with my optic nerve severed. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. 
It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Colin, shut the hell up, will ya? Yes, that would be helpful. Właśnie, byłoby miło, kurde. There, all done. Ja pierdzielę, ile tych... Great. Ile tych... This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time is no joke. Eat as many metal shillings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White. He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep, mostly. I'm right here, guys. Come on. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White, Sheriff, Colin. Swiney. <laughs> Dobrze, że może so, pić. How do you um feel? It's Big B Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I seen him take worse. Not as good as can be expected. I think. So, not well then. I'm glad you're not dead. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived... Snow, I'd never leave you. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin, I'm just saying I was worried about him as all. Well. Guys haven't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Crane is still our focus. I just can't forget everything he's done. I don't care if he has problems with the crooked man. Ichapod's gone. It's over for him. He's not coming back. It's not about Crane anymore, Bigby. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? You weren't there, Colin, so just drop it. Okay, okay. All I care about right now is just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be mm. useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? Crane was a puppet. And the crooked man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily? And Faith? I don't know how it all works out yet, but I know it does. Somehow. The crooked man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. 
We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? Corinne. I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Yeah, what? wait, what do you mean? What is this right way? We haven't been doing a good job. You and I. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Gosh, I'll do better. We'll do better. We have to be better than them, or what's the point? Right, exactly. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry that I have to bring all this up, but I think it's important. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. Relax, Colin. I can speak for myself, okay? He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. Look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm <laughs> not. Tell, Tell me right feeling. now, what's it gonna be, Bigby? Dlaczego w takich momentach tu dzwonią do mnie tu w górze? Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Buff, okay, Buffkin, I'll Buffkin, let him know. Ah, Thanks. Wiem już. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Narissa. Narissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. No. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Narissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here. Right? Nab him, nab him, nab him. The rules are the rules. I don't get to make them, I just enforce them. Bull shit. You give favors all the time. I know you do. Yeah, well, I think I ran out. No i mamy. Dobra, dobra, to tak. Hmm. Będzie tutaj chwila czasu, yy, jak nie będzie dialogów, 
Epizod czwarty, by nie wywołał wielka z lasu. Dobra. Yy... Hi, Sheriff. Hi, Narissa. Jak będzie chwila tutaj, to zaraz ten. Have a seat. Mm, coś powiem. I um are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be. Well, let's just say I've been better. <coughs> Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Let us <laughs> wymieniać. Thanks. So what was that back there with Crane? He wanted you to tell me something. You know, it's not too late to talk. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell Crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. You have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Yeah, I'm so you need a friend right now. You can trust me. <clears throat> what I'm saying is, friends matter, and I, I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Mm. Are you? It's my job to look out for people, and not just my friends. <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but... But... It's okay. Take your time. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too, huh? Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Can't we just take the ribbon off? No! These flips are sealed! What? You can't. Just stay back. Hmm. You no. can't do that. Slow down. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. Please, don't. <sighs> okay. I get it. So the ribbons, if 
you take them off. If anyone finds out, I came here. That's probably Snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of... trouble. What are you worried about? Just... please don't say anything. Hmm. Sorry, I just need to talk to the Sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Oh, wait, you don't have to go. That was... abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Uh, did you get anything from her? Oh, she couldn't she really me. say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night, and they're mm. scared about what's been going on? Well, I guess it's the best we've got. Mm. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and and she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. No dobra, okej. Okay. Hmm. No da nie wiemy nic takiego za bardzo tutaj. Mieszkanie pięknej bestii. Południe, ale you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. Good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. Oh, what do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? Snow sent me, said you wanted to talk. Not me. Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I... So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? If you don't want to talk, can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? It's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Eh. Mm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What are you doing here? We don't need to bring mm -hmm. you into this. Beast. 
Dobra, sobie tu przeszukajmy. Ja nie wiem, czy ja dobrze zrobiłem w poprzednim materiale z tym... Z tymi, nie wiem, z tym zaatakowaniem między innymi tego. O! Dobra, ile będziecie tam jeszcze gadożyć? Halo? Już skończyliście? O, thanks for letting us finish our conversation. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I wanna know. Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do. So... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the crooked man? What if we talk and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us. We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the crooked man. And I don't know if it's worth it. You think you're the only ones in danger? If you have info on that crooked bastard, I need to hear it. Otherwise, I've got better things to do. No, please don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Mm. Hi there, you've reached Beauty and Beast, and we're out doing something fabulous. Um, let me just uh, a day at the beach, skiing the slopes. <laughs> Are you gonna and get that? And we can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep, and we'll get back to you as soon as. What the fuck was that? Ah, don't worry about it. Probably just a wrong number. Really. I think we're one digit off from some pizza place. Who was that? You know who that was. Don't hold out on me. We've been getting horrible phone calls. It's the crooked man's people. Trying to collect, and we aren't safe. Even in our own home. We owe some money. Finally. All I care about is, how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? Ale dużo mi powiedzieliście. The lucky pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know. The Jersey Devil? Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out, probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the Woodsman's Axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night, trying to chop my damn head off with it. 
Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the Crooked Man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. Listen to me very carefully. Did you ever deliver to the Crooked Man? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town, but never to the man himself. It never seems to be heading to the same place, but it always comes out of the butcher shop. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. It's the only thing I've been able to pick up, and it's still not enough. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. No. Probably not. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Oh, kurde. Nie wiem, nie wiem, rzeźnik może. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is going to spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Nie, właśnie tutaj powiem tak. Te wybory gracza to są kurcze właśnie. To jest taka troszeczkę porażka według mnie. No nic, zobaczymy co będzie dalej, kurcze. Ooh. Czego tu nikogo nie ma? Pigby Wolf? <clears throat> well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? Um, let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's uh let's see what we got here. Uh. Flank steak on special, New York mm. strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow if you like. Uh, sirloin, ribs. I know about the deliveries. The ones going in and out of here. Well, of course, there are deliveries. <laughs> we don't raise the cows in here. Beast told me. 
He said these packages aren't meat. Well, what else would they be? <laughs> what you see is what you get. Just meat. You don't find anything else. We just, uh... We do more wholesale and meat packing than walk-up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. But there's uh, nothing here. So you don't mind if I take a look around? I guess not. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. Don't go, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. Co on to wcisnął? Co on to wcisnął? Skurczy by ktoś wcisnął. Shit. Um. Hmm. I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. Oh. Just wait out front. I I'll be right there. I I've got a bit of a mess back here. What's the problem? I'm just coming back to give you a hand. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Come on, damn it. 